Time now for Restoring the Soul of Healthcare from the Help Care Clinic in Austin. Always enjoy visiting with everybody over at the Help Care Clinic and uh, Dr. David Strobel and Lee A.C. joining us once again. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, John. John, good to be with you. And uh, today's topic I- I'm really kind of excited about because we've spent the last year really drilling down on the f- what exactly the health care clinic is and how it works and how the membership works and the benefits of membership and all of that. Today, uh, you want to kind of dispel a little bit of maybe misconceptions or misunderstandings and get into really what the health care clinic isn't. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's, uh, you know, you talk about what something is, but by talking about what it isn't, it really helps to clarify. You know, it mm-hmm. helps people really understand what it is. And so the first thing first thing we wanted to say is that healthcare clinic is not health insurance, and it's not a substitute for health insurance. So you do get most of the care you need through that affordable membership, but you should have something in place still to cover the medical care, the specialty care, emergency care, hospitalization, um, because those things can, the, the bills for those can add up a lot. So it's not, it's not a substitute for having health insurance. Um, we recommend that people get the highest deductible plan typically. I mean, well, we don't offer financial advice. Uh, we're not financial advisors, but one thing that works really well uh, for a lot of our members is to have the highest deductible they can have, and then their membership at healthcare clinic covers you know, all the day-to-day stuff. Um, now, another possibility, though, uh, as an alternative to health insurance is something like Zion HealthShare or MediShare or some of these other sharing programs. They typically have a lower per-month cost, but, um, you know, they're, they're not exactly insurance either. They're also a membership-based uh, program. So really, and that's probably the biggest thing for people to really get out of this is to make sure they have that catastrophic care insurance or that, you know, the possibility. I mean, that's what insurance is for. Right. Having something in place to cover those unexpected expenses that could be, you know, financially devastating. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the insurance has been, was designed to prevent catastrophic costs that would ruin you financially. And so, you know, the, the, uh, the problem with the insurance industry primarily in all different areas is that they've kind of gotten, I mean, they've kind of gotten their fingers down into more of the routine costs. And that's kind of strangled all of the industry uh, routine uh, services and products that are made. And this affects the car industry and, you know, uh, uh, home homeowners insurance and just all of that. So um, the other thing that the healthcare clinic isn't is you know we're not an emergency department, we're not a walk-in clinic. Um, it doesn't mean that we can't see somebody urgently. Um, we we're, we're not designed that way. But as our membership grows and we deal with more of the the chronic conditions and management of lifestyle change and and the day in and day out chronic medical problems that people have um, as that gets better and better addressed for individuals then many times you know it may become less necessary for us to periodically see those folks in order to get those various things under control or to really help them get them under control. Well, that may at some point provide more and more acute care access. So if somebody has an urgent need, we may be able to more quickly and and easily meet that need if it's not something so serious that they must be seen in an emergency department. Um, But we have a limited ability to do that. And of course, we're not going to be able to do true emergency room care. You know, if somebody's having a heart attack, this is not the place to be. Um, and although we have seen somebody who yeah, had right. a heart attack and then we sent yeah, them to the emergency room and yeah, they got I mean, taken I, I, care of. Yeah, I just emphasize that we do provide timely care here. I mean, as yeah. we provide, we have some slots. In, so if you get sick, you get a sore throat, you need to be seen. Uh, the goal is that we can see you in the next, in the, the same day or next day. But that's that, that's typically what we're what we're able to do. But it's not like a walk-in clinic in a grocery store where you just sort of show up and 
and you're going to be seen there. This is right. a different model. The other thing, healthcare clinic is not, and we talk a lot about prevention. We talk a lot about lifestyle, but healthcare clinic is not a weight loss clinic. That does. I mean, lots of our patients are losing weight, and they're getting healthier. And that's, but that's not what we're about. The main point is to give people the care that they're looking for, uh, in a thoughtful and respectful, unhurried way, where they're able to, you know, remembering that they're in charge. They're the they're the boss, and uh, so. Dr. Strobel and Stephanie Kimmis and uh, another uh, provider who will be I- introducing in the next few weeks, um, they're there to be on your side and to help you ac- accomplish whatever your health goals are. And then through our coaching, we also, that's one of the tools that they might recommend that people take advantage of, and it's something that's included in your membership, but it's not really the essence of the, of the clinic. And the essence is that unhurried primary care. Well, yeah. and, and, and kind of interesting to your point is that a lot of what we've talked about over the course of this last year is taking control of your health care and in doing that and understanding it and doing all of the things that, that you talk about that losing that weight may be a benefit, a, a side effect of this, but that is not the number one thing that you're trying to do. It's really controlling your health care. That's exactly right. And, and you know, we I've been focusing on the metabolic syndrome, which we've talked about before, for probably about five minutes after the this started being part of the national conversation. It was way back in the nineteen nineties. And so I've I've been building on that process and metabolic syndrome affects fifty percent of Americans. And another 40% probably have at least one part. There are five different parts of it. And and so 90% of Americans either have metabolic syndrome or they're they're pre-metabolic syndrome. They've got part of it. And so, well, there is the low-hanging fruit. This is an epidemic all over the United States, so we should focus on that. And all of those different parts can be treated individually with medication, but the cause is primary lifestyle stuff. And so then if you focus on the lifestyle stuff, then what happens is the medications often become less and less necessary. We had an excellent example just this morning, a gentleman that's been uh, incorporating a lot of the lifestyle changes, and um, he's on blood pressure medicine, fairly high dose, just one type of medicine, but now that he's doing the lifestyle changes, his blood pressure is now under really quite excellent control. And my expectation for him is as he continues to work on these lifestyle changes, he's going to become lightheaded. And that means that he's now taking too much blood pressure medicine and we need to decrease it. And eventually, I think there's a possibility that of the seven medicines that he is taking, he may ultimately only need to take one or two of them long term because of the lifestyle changes. So we provide some of these medicines here in our dispensary um, so that that decreases the cost. Um, We provide two different medicines uh, per patient as part of their membership, they can choose which two they want if they've got more than more than two. Um, but we're also not a pharmacy. We are what's called a dispensary. So we don't open up a stock bottle, count out pills, and then dispense them that way. Uh, that's not how it works. We, we dispense the stock bottle itself, so you get that amount. Um, but it has a label on it with instructions and, and all of that. Um, but we're not a substitute for a pharmacy. This is just a convenience measure, primarily. So right, and, and right, and we don't have the the scope of medications that would be mm-hmm. found in a pharmacy. But it's a few dozen of the most commonly needed ones, and and um, it is a convenience thing and and a cost saving thing for uh, for for many of our members. Sure. And then I guess the final thing we wanted to emphasize is that healthcare clinic is not only for Austin area residents. Uh, we have had, you know, most of our members coming from within about a 40-mile radius of Austin, but we, we have telephone visits, we have video visits, and so we have many who live um, much farther away uh, that are able to get timely care, you know, from healthcare clinic 
usually they'll come here for a first you know onboarding kind of appointment but got several members in the twin cities for instance and now with healthcare clinic rochester uh having opened this week so that's our other big news of the week is that uh, last last monday was the first day that dr dave was seeing mm-hmm. uh, patients in in rochester and uh, starting next week we've got uh Dr. Dave on Monday and Stephanie Kimmis in Rochester on Tuesdays. And so it'll be two days a week uh, in Rochester. So that's going to kind of expand the scope, expand the radius of where people are able to get uh, this kind of care. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Good stuff. It's amazing what a, a journey this has been for the last year. Uh, I would quickly, as we're uh, just about out of time, uh, direct people to your website. All the information that we talk about uh, usually appears in your weekly blog post, but I was noting on the bottom of today's uh, post that uh, if people are interested in learning more about what the clinic is and isn't, you do have a a wonderful uh, informational booklet called Saving Through Membership, and that would help people quite a bit. Yeah, I'd really encourage people to check that out if they go to uh, helpcare.health, that's H-E-L-P-C-A-R-E dot health. Uh, they would be able to see several places where there's an opportunity to request to, to if they go to the blog post for today that says what healthcare clinic is not uh, right at the bottom there there's a link where they can request it but it just does go through in a very uh, concise but thorough way um, you know what's the difference what are some of the essential elements of a uh, healthcare clinic membership and then why does it help you uh, not only have a better healthcare experience day to day, but also uh, save money. So I encourage people to go to the website. Um, if they would like to stop by at uh, 308 Fourth Avenue Northwest uh, here in Austin, the block east of St. Augustine's, we have some hard copies of that booklet. We'd be glad to give you a copy of the booklet and also give you a tour and show people around and let them see what it's like. Uh, or they can give us a call at 507-279-2345. Great information as always, uh, gentlemen. Appreciate it, and uh, have a wonderful week. We'll talk to you next Thursday. Thank you very much, John. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.